I'm Greg, and we are so excited this year that we are able to present Kara Morrow's workshop two ways for the first time in four years. We'll be doing a live performance at the Gardenia and also a separate online one, which you'll be seeing following this presentation. The motto for our class is go to the words. That's because every song tells a story. So let's go. Whenever I feel life getting me down or it's sorrows too great, the cure is to go outdoors into the elements. I find it stimulates. So, Mr. Weatherman, where's the hurricane you promised me? Mr. Weatherman, where's the tornado you said was coming? Ha ha, Mr. Weatherman, I've been waiting patiently for a bit of cold or rain. But all we get are heat waves. More heat. More heat. Can't we have something wet? I love to walk in the snow. Look for me when it's stormy down some icy lane and I'll be there. I love to walk in the snow. The frozen lace is beautiful. I'm not insane, I just don't care. I feel wonderful when the skies above are thunderful. I don't complain. I know it's fun in the sun, but take all kinds of weather when all said and done. I love to walk in the snow. And I love to walk in the rain. Look for me when it's stormy down some leafy lane and I'll be there. I love to walk in the rain. The lightning may be frightening, no I'm not insane, I just don't care. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. How about a week with every day a bitter patter day? I wouldn't complain. I know there's fun in the sun, but take all kinds of weather when all said and done. I love to walk in the rain, rain. Don't go away, stick around another day, because I love to walk in the rain. Well, I moved from my long-term residence in Los Angeles cross-country to my hometown in Massachusetts, mostly to look after and care for my father who was then turning 90. And I'm glad I did. I'm glad I got to spend the last two years of his life with him. I remember there was a line in one of the Indiana Jones films that really stuck with me. It was after Indiana's father's died and a colleague says to him, well, you've reached that point when life is taking away more gifts than it's giving. And I don't think I really understood how profound that was until after my own father died. This song is for him.
that move and sound and gleam. Bring back my dreamer to his dream. I hear your voice, I see your face, I know you're there. I feel you brush against me on the stair. Your glasses still sit on the table by your bed. I wear your watch now, funny. I'm the one who's late instead. Bring back all the moments, bring back every day, bring me back the life we lived before it slipped away, bring back every laugh and cry, each whisper sigh and scream, bring back my dreamer to his dream. forever. Thank you. I've heard that before. All I want's a miracle. Nothing less. Nothing more. Bring back all the dancing. Bring back every song. Bring me back the sea when the light and love was long Bring back all things beautiful That move and sound and gleam You're the cream in my coffee, and you're the salt in my stew. You will always be my necessity, I'd be lost without you. You're the starch in my collar, and you're the lace in my shoe. You will always be my necessity, I'd be lost without you. Most men tell love tales. And each one dovetails You have your own way This way It's my own way You're the sail of my love boat And you're its captain and crew You will always be my necessity I'd be lost without you You give life savor You bring out its flavor so you can see, dear, you are my Worcestershire, dear. You're the sail of my love boat, and you're its captain and crew. You will always be my necessity. I'd be lost without, really lost without, I'd be lost without you. Hi, this is Judy Freed, and I live in beautiful Pacific Palisades, California. Here's a song I'd like to share. Well, hello there, good old friend of mine. You've been reaching for yourself for such a long time. There's so much to say, no need to explain. Just an open door for you to come in from the rain. 
It's a long road when you're on your own And someone like you will always take that long way home There's no right or wrong I'm not here to blame I just want to be the one to keep you from the rain From the rain and it looks like sunny skies Now that I know you're all right Time has left us older But wiser I think I am It's so good to have my best friend back at home again. I think of us like some old cliche, but it doesn't matter cause I love you anyway. Come in from the rain, come in from the rain. I probably owe you money or a cup of sugar that I borrowed a couple years ago. I want to thank my accompanist, Michael Rose. And the first song that I'm going to sing from you is from a show called Stop the World, I Want to Get Off. Just once in a lifetime a man knows a moment one wonderful moment when fate takes his hand and this is my moment my once in a lifetime when I can explore a new and exciting I soar like an eagle as though I had wings for this is my moment my destiny calls me and though it may be just once in a lifetime I'm second song I'm going to take you on a little journey and I want you to think back about your childhood crush your very first crush mine was in the second grade and her name was Nancy and I went over to Nancy's house one evening and we went out behind the barn not what you're thinking and we climbed up on the hay uh, hay ride wagon and we laid down on the bales of hay and we were looking up at the stars then she touched me. She put her hand near mine, and then she touched me. I felt a sudden tingle when she touched me. A sparkle of love. She knew it. it was an accident. No, she knew it. She smiled and tried to tell me so all through it. She knew it, I know. She's real, and the world is alive and shining. I feel so 
such a wonderful drive toward Valentine. She touched me. I simply have to face the fact she touched me. Control myself and try to act as if I remember my name. Cause she touched me. She touched me. And suddenly, nothing. Thanks for listening. Thank you, Michael. My name is Diane Jubilee Light, and I'm from Cheviot Hills, California. And this song I'm going to sing is uh, written by Alan Menken and Stephen Schwartz. It was written in 1995, and then it was very relevant, and I think it still is. You think you own whatever land you land on. The earth is just a dead thing you can claim. But I know every rock and tree and creature has a life has a spirit, has a name. You think the only people who are people are the people who look and think like you. But if you walk the footsteps of a stranger, you'll learn things you never knew, you never knew. Fourth of July, so I was thinking maybe we could do a little Christmas in July. I made turkey and stuffing and hot mashed potatoes, yams and a roast and some fried green tomatoes, but I had forgot what my friends could have or have not. Charlie could not have cheddar Cause it clashes with his meds Lee's on a low carb diet Couldn't sample any breads Anya could not have onions Cause they fill her up with gas Elsie could not have eggnog Cause it knocks her on her ass I made Martha Stewart's tart, sweet and highfalutin, that six people couldn't eat because they can't eat gluten. Sure.
Irvin could not have shellfish or it would asphyxiate. There wasn't one damn item that could stay on Karen's plate. My souffle was a masterpiece, so light and airy. But my friends couldn't eat it because no one ate dairy. I broke down and wept. If you're vegan, why'd you accept? Paula got on her podium. On and on and on she went about the evils of sodium and how she's lactose intolerant. Peter was prone to bloating, couldn't eat the broccoli. Annie gets acid reflux every time she looks at me. When I put the turkey down, Sarah had to say, ever since the world began, I can't eat no tryptophan. Everyone at the table getting up in years, you see, skip the meal all together and talked about their surgeries. So pass me the vino and pour me some vino and screw it. Next year, your place, please. Hi, I'm Dominic Mora. I'm at the Valley Village Healthcare Center in North Hollywood, California. Gonna take a sentimental journey. Gonna set my heart at ease. Gonna take the sentimental journey. Got my bag and got my reservation. Spent each dime I could afford. Like a child in wild anticipation. Long to hear that on the board. Seven. That's the time we leave at seven. I'll be waiting up for heaven. Counting every mile of railroad track. Takes me back. Never thought my heart could be so yearning. Why did I decide to roam? Gonna take a sentimental journey, sentimental journey home. Sentimental journey home. You know, I was 11 when I went on my first journey. That reminds me of another time in my life. You were my adored one. Then you became the bored one. And I was like a toy that brought you joy one day. A broken toy that you preferred to throw away. If I expected love when first we kissed, blame it on my youth. If only just for you. I did exist, blame it on my youth. I believed in everything, like a child of three. You meant more than anything, all the world to me. If you were on my mind all night and day, 
blame it on my youth. If I didn't eat and sleep or pray, blame it on my youth. And if I cried a little bit when first I learned the truth, Don't blame it on my heart, blame it on my Hello, I'm Sydney Weissman in Palm Springs, California, with the wonderful Chris Marlowe on piano. One of Karen's assignments this year was to sing a song about history. And the minute she said it, this song just popped into my head. Yesterday in Old Fall River, Mr. Andrew Borden died. Now they got his daughter Lizzie on a charge of homicide. Some folks say she didn't do it. Others say, of course she did. But we all agree Miss Lizzie B is a problem kind of kid. Cause you can't chop your papa up in Massachusetts. Not even if it's planned as a surprise. No, you can't chop your papa up in Massachusetts. You know how neighbors love to criticize. Well, she got him on the sofa where he'd gone to take a snooze. And I hope he went to heaven. Cause he wasn't wearing shoes She sort of rearranged him with a hatchet So they say <gasps> And then she got her mama In the same old fashioned way Oh, you can't chop your mama up in Massachusetts Not even if you're tired of her cuisine No, you can't chop your mama up in Massachusetts You know, it's almost sure to cause a scene really kept her hopping on the Sunday afternoon. What with up and downstairs chopping while she hummed a ragtime tune. They really made her hustle and when all was said and done, she'd removed her mother's bustle when she wasn't wearing one. Now it wasn't done for pleasure and it wasn't done for spite. And it wasn't done because the lady wasn't very bright. She always did the slightest thing her ma and pa had bid. They said, Lizzie, cut it out. And that's exactly what she did. Oh, shut the door and lock and latch it. Here comes Lizzie with a brand new hatchet. Such a snob, I heard it said. She met her pa and cut him dead. Jump like a fish, jump like a porpoise, all join hands in habeas corpus. Oh, you can't chop your papa up in Massachusetts. Massachusetts is a far cry from New York. Well, that song is from New Faces of 1952 written by Michael Brown. And this next song is also from that show, written by Arthur Siegel and June Carroll. Poets write fancy things about love. They complicate it so. Love is like birth or rain or taxes. Love just is, I know. Love is a simple thing. Love 
I'm John Rinaldi, and I'm coming to you today from the quaint little village of De Horen, just outside of Amsterdam in the Netherlands. Now, I've been an actor for a long time, and in between acting gigs, I've had to do some pretty wacky survival jobs. For instance, right now, I'm a combination dog sitter and bookkeeper. So I guess what I'm really trying to say is, whatever it is you need done, please call me. If you want your sister corded, brother wed, or cheese accorded, just leave everything to me. If you want your roof inspected, eyebrows tweezed, or bills collected, just leave everything to me. If you want your daughter dated or some marriage consummated for a rather modest fee. If you want a husband spotted, girlfriend traced, or chicken potted, I'll arrange for making all arrangements. Just leave everything to me. If you want your ego bolstered, muscles toned, or chair upholstered, just leave everything to me. Charming social introductions, expert mandolin instructions, just leave everything to me. If you want your culture rounded, French improved, or torso pounded with a 10 year guarantee. If you want a birth recorded, collie's bred, or kittens boarded, I'll proceed to plan the whole procedure. Just leave everything to me. If you want your children coddled, corsets boned, or furs remodeled, or a nice fresh frigazine. If you want your bustle shifted, wedding planned, or bosom lifted, I'll discreetly use my own discretion. I'll arrange for making all arrangements. I'll proceed to plan the whole procedure. Just leave everything to me. Of course, between fun acting jobs, and wacky, weird survival jobs, I've also had time for a few unsuccessful romances before I met my charming Dutch husband. Thank God. Anyway, I know it all sounds a little bit complicated, but really, it's simple. Simple, these affairs that touch the heart. Simple are the ways of Simple as the touch of another's hand. Simple enough for anyone to understand. But you. Simple are the ways we come apart. Simple as a babe is you. Simple as a tree. And as simple as a cloud, it's as simple as the simplest things have always been. Simple as the sun and the moon and the stars in the sky. Simple are the ways we say. These two songs are for two women I love. The first is for my wife, Mary, who I met 57 years ago at a party, and we're still going strong. It's from Camelot. If ever I would leave you, it wouldn't be in summer. Flame, your face 
fades with a luster that puts gold to shame. But if I'd ever leave you, it wouldn't be in autumn. No, I'd leave in autumn. I never would know. I've seen how you sparkle. The next song is for my big sister, Dot. Dot always was an example of wisdom and courage, and both were on display at the annual performance of her high school in 1947. She was to sing a duet with her boyfriend, Jean, and the problem is she forgot the words and she couldn't sing, but she won the day anyway with gestures and acting, and the audience applauded. Here is the song from Blackbirds 1928. Gee, but it's tough to be broke, kid. It's not a joke, kid. It's a curse. My luck is changing. It's gotten from simply rotten to something worse. Who knows, but someday I will win to. I'll begin to reach my prime. Now that I know what our end is, all I can spend is just my time. I can't give you anything but love, baby. That's the only thing I've plenty of. And I guess all those things you've always bought for Gee, I like to see you looking swell Baby, diamond bracelets will work, does it sell? Baby, till that lucky day you know darn well Clement, and I'm from Hollywood, California. Where do you start? How do you separate the present from the past? How do you deal with all the things you thought would pass? Memory scattered here and there I look around and don't know where to start Which books are yours? Which tapes and dreams belong to you? And which are mine? Our lives are tangled like the branches of a vine Many habits that we have to break 
and yesterdays we have to take apart. One day there'll be a song or something in the air again to catch me by surprise, and you'll be there. might have been. Where do you start? Do you allow yourself a little time to cry? Or do you close your eyes and kiss it all goodbye? At least you try. And though I don't know where and don't know when I'll find myself in love again. I promise there will always be that little place inside of me, that tiny part deep in my heart that stays in Okay, now for a change of pace. I've got an island in the Pacific and everything about it is terrific. I've got the sun to tan me, palms to fan me, and an occasional man. I love my island, it's very lazy. If I should ever leave it, I'd be crazy. I've got papayas, peaches, sandy beaches, and an occasional man. When I go swimming, I am always dressed in style. Cause when I'm swimming, all I wear is a great big smile. I love my island, it's such a treasure. And in the cool of evening, it's a treasure. And as the hour grows later, what is greater than an occasional man? If you should give the slip to your ship, miss your trip, take a tip and blame this occasional day. And now the purple dusk of twilight time steals across the meadows of my heart high up in the sky the little stars shine always reminding me that we're apart you wander down the lane then far away leaving me a song that will not die. Love is now the stardust of yesterday, the music of the years gone by. Sometimes I wonder why I spend the lonely night dreaming of a song the melody haunts my reverie and i am once again with you when our love was new 
and each kiss an inspiration. But that was long ago, and now my consolation is in the stardust of a song. Beside the garden wall, when stars are bright, you are in my arms. The nightingale tells his fairy tale of paradise where roses grew. And though I dream in vain, in my heart there always will remain my stardust memory the memory of love's refrain. I'm John Russell, and I'm coming to you from Messina, New York, which is at the tippy tippy top of New York State. And uh, we have with us today the wonderful Joyce Garot. No, is that it? Giroux. Giroux. <laughs> we have with us today the wonderful Joyce Giroux on the piano. One of the things I love most about singing is being in the moment. You can't think about what happened before, and you can't think about what's going to be happening later on. You have to stay in the moment. But at my age, I'm wondering, when is it going to be a good time to take Social Security? Should I wait another year? maybe just six months, maybe two years. And I already have Medicare Part A, so when is it going to be a good time to take Medicare Part B? Maybe in another year? Maybe in two years? And here I am thinking about all the stuff that's going to happen, and the funny thing is that when I'm doing that, nothing gets done in the here and now. Tomorrow, tomorrow, living in tomorrow. Why is tomorrow better than today? Tomorrow, tomorrow, looking for tomorrow. My aunt became a spinster that way. The future, the future, it's always in the future. What's the matter with now? Postponing, postponing, a guy could bust postponing. Take your tomorrow and get. I'd rather, I'd rather have something to remember than nothing to regret. Tomorrow, tomorrow, it dawns on me with horror. Love's getting far away and out of sight. Tomorrow, tomorrow, why can't a fellow borrow? Little love tomorrow, tonight. The present, the present, the present is so pleasant. What am I saving it for? Progressive, progressive, oh, I'd rather be caressive. My heart is raising a row. Utopia, utopia, don't be a dope, you dope, you get your utopia now. Tomorrow is that better day with rainbows in the sky. That's the picture people like to paint. But while I seek that better day, the years keep flying by. Lots of things that should be happening ain't. Till finally there comes this revelation. Tomorrow is the curse of civilization. Tomorrow, it dawns on me with horror. Love's getting far away and out of sight. Mmm, tomorrow, why can't a fellow borrow? Little love tomorrow tonight. 
the future, the future, it is always in the future. What's the matter with now? Oh, postponing, postponing, a guy could bust postponing. Take your tomorrow and get. I'd rather, I'd rather have something to remember than nothing to regret. So here's to no more regrets. Thank you for watching.